Okay, so let's start by acknowledging that we are exactly where we are based on our previous skills, our experiences, our abilities to survive, our supports and how we access them. So today where we sit in our comfort zone is exactly what we've had the capacity to build. What I don't agree with and what I'd argue with in the coaching world constantly is that I don't believe it's about going beyond your comfort zone. I think actually it's about stretching your comfort zone because that comfort zone is where it feels safe to take risks and it's where we feel the capacity to manage. Instead of trying to push and force, I think it's vital to try and stretch our comfort zone by trying to develop our skills, understand ourselves better, learn about what strategies we're using, what strategies we could use, challenge our beliefs and our internal dialogues. By stretching our comfort zone, we create a setting that's much safer um, and that is much more aligned for what it is we want, but also so that we can actually experience more, we can achieve more, we can reach our potential, we can have opportunities. What a lot of us do is, as things become challenging and risky, we actually reduce our comfort zone. We actually bring it in closer. We contact less people. We access less opportunities. We take less healthy risks. And we kind of shrink our comfort zone. And this isn't uncommon at all, because when we're stressed, our, even if you think about our survival system, our fight, flight or freeze, you know, it can only focus on, on what's bothering it. So it's not unusual that this happens. But it's actually really important that we're able to broaden what we're looking at and who we're connecting with and how we're doing things so that our comfort zone can allow us to find solutions quicker so that we can feel safe in more situations than what we currently feel safe in. So we can feel like we are safe even if the situation is challenging. Pushing our comfort zone to me is almost like going beyond ourselves, beyond our current ability, capacity, skills. Whereas stretching our comfort zone is about upskilling, developing our skills, developing our support network, learning to access it more adequately, challenging our self-beliefs, you know, creating a sense, a very strong sense of self and a very kind of strong sense of who we are and where we go and what we do. And I think that that's key. If you want to have a life that's more fulfilled, it's really important that the comfort zone is stretched and it's stretched using skills and methods that actually work for you. So let's stop pushing the comfort zone. Let's start stretching it. And you can do that on a daily basis. But watch yourself if you start shrinking or you're noticing that you're withdrawing into a very safe circle um, of behaviours or people and you aren't actually allowing yourself to access anything beyond that. That's often a sign that we're bringing our comfort zone in. The wider our comfort zone, the more comfortable we are in life because the more safe we feel in multiple situations. And I think that's the ideal, is to stretch our comfort zone.